Well, I'm 97 years old. I suppose I'll be the oldest member of the Petty family that's living just at present. I've been a fruit grower all my life, and my parents were fruit growers. Actually, our great-great-grandfather came out from England in 1855. He came out on his own for a start to have a look round Australia just to see what the prospects were. Then he bought quite a big acreage of land in Doncaster. Now it's called Petty's Lane is the boundary of that land. When he saw the prospects of Australia, he sent back for his family and Tom, George and John, who were just boys, were brought out by their mother. Practically every generation of the Petty family went on the land at Doncaster. Well, I had my orchard on the boundary of Doncaster and Templestowe on the corner of High Street and Manningham Road. I had about 30 acres of land there. We grow mostly peaches, apricots and lemons and pears. All the pears were put in a cool store, a local cooperative cool store, and we pack them during the winter. We'd get up early in the morning and pick until noon, and then the afternoon we'd set to and pack them into bushel cases, and they were sent into the Victoria market. I did have help for a while, but Alan was the main one who helped me on the orchard. Yes, I had no uh, desire to do anything else, really. I vaguely remember the draft horses. But I remember that uh, Dad buying the tractor. It was a Fordson Cork model. It was uh, one of the first in Doncaster. I remember him being on the tractor before he commenced school, so it makes the mind boggle, but that's what he did. I suppose uh, it's just the normal things kids would do on the farm, yes. Most people either had a petty flower or an improved version of a, uh, which was called a Hillman. Alberta at a Box Hill Foundry by uh, Daniel Harvey. The tractor wasn't uh, considered to be suitable. They thought it would uh, hammer the ground down too much. Yeah, Dad was quite a pioneer really in getting one. <laughs> 